Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. And if you're looking to sell your house quickly and for top dollar, you've come to the right place again because we're always bringing you some helpful tips that's gonna get that process going for you. And today we're dealing with some real, real big tips on a, a topic that's near and dear to me because I believe this is where you start and this is what can make or break the whole, uh, really the experience for you as you get going. And that is staging. Right, and so we're gonna talk about the staging and the checklist that go along with it and some tips and, and helpful hints today to help you whether you're looking to sell it fast, whether it's a one, two week turnaround, whether you're looking to sell it fast, maybe make some cash on the deal, or you're just going for top dollar. We're gonna review all of that today. And so first, let's go ahead and get started and let's start with getting your house ready to sell. And so it's really essential that the first thing you do is come out with a checklist. And really the reason we wanna do that is because we all get caught up in the process. We get excited, we get emotional, and it's very easy for us to jump from here to here and to here. And if we have that checklist, it really slows us down and it keeps us in order to make sure that we're getting everything done that needs to take place to make sure that we do sell that home fast and for top dollar. So come, some of the things that I always love to talk about, um, I really call them my big three when it comes to that first uh, getting your house ready and that checklist is that these two go together, so I do count it as just one, but that's declutter and depersonalization. And so really we're gonna start like in the kitchen, right? One of our main selling features here is that we need to declutter that area. We can't have, you know, mail everywhere, utensils everywhere, um, whether it's, you know, noodles in containers or decorative pieces. We want to start to shrink that down maybe three or four pieces in the kitchen counter maybe some of your essentials your coffee pot uh, maybe a kitchen aid something like that but for the most part we're going to get the appliances put away we're going to get all the stuff that just taking up counter space out of the way because well honestly nobody else needs to see it uh, and then we go into that depersonalization part is is if we're able to without maybe you know creating a whole big to-do of painting walls and things like that start to take down some of the family photos start to take down some of the personal belongings um, and why do we want to do this well really it's because when, when the clients come in potential buyers come into the home we want them to start to envision what the house is going to look like with their stuff in it so the more they're looking around and seeing on the walls you know family photos or um you know spikes dog bowl or things like that they're going to stop stop thinking about what their family and their home is going to look like because they're really just focused on what it currently looks like now so that's why uh decluttering and depersonalization is number one um then we just we got to go into the one that's probably not everybody's favorite but giving the home a deep clean you know we got to get somebody in there whether you have the time to do it if not um you know getting a cleaning crew in probably some of the best money spent because again that first impression is everything we don't want them walking into a place that looks like it's been run wild and uh, you know it's very easy with day-to-day -day stuff i got kids myself whether it's shoes all over or softball baseball dirt on the floors it's just worth the time and the effort and sometimes the money to bring somebody in to help get it cleaned up to make that good first impression um, and then lastly is more of a caution more than a uh, to do but it's we're only going to focus on minor repairs. Um, this is not the part of the stage of the house where we're looking to redo the kitchen, replace the countertops. You know, if there's some light bulbs that are up, yeah, let's fix those. Maybe a couple of nail holes or pinholes for some pictures, let's go ahead and fix those. If they're minor repairs, then we can be done in a few minutes or, you know, a day we can knock out a to-do list, then that's great. And that's ultimately what we're looking for in this stage. Um, remember, it's, it, it's really we want the house to be a good first impression for when the potential buyers come in and we want them to not have to focus on you know the small little things because they can overcome those um we we want them just to be able to walk in feel warm and keep everything moving from there and uh, really generate some buzz around the home okay so now that we've got that out of the way here comes what i think is really the fun part and that's when we get into staging right and uh the first topic of staging is, is a little bit maybe different, but the first thing is the curb appeal. We gotta have good curb appeal. When the people come up to the when they come up to the driveway, they park, they're meeting their agent, whether they're coming in, is that we need to make sure the things like the lawn mode, maybe the driveway is washed, the bushes, the hedges, um, things like that are just trimmed up. We don't want to have a lot of dead plants out there. We don't want them to look like the property's not been taken care of. If they start to see some of that stuff on the way in, they've already starting to make up their mind on what the inside of that home is going to look like. So really, it starts on the outside and then we work our way in. And as we get into the inside, um, we really wanna focus on more of neutral settings, right? Um, 
definitely not asking you to go repaint the house, but some of the furniture, maybe if it's a pretty bizarre color or you really stand out because that's your style, love your style, probably works for you, but it's not going to be everybody's style. So we really want to focus on neutral decor, um, whether again, it's stuff in the bedrooms, uh, in the office, if you have one set up or even the furniture, just start to keep things neutral so that people can come in and kind of see how their stuff is going to play in that setting. Um, the other thing is we don't want them to walk into a dark home. So what I do when I get to all my properties is I make sure that, you know, the agents know, if I'm showing the property, the lights are on, the blinds are open, get them, get everything open so that we have a lot of natural light coming in so that people can get the full picture of really what that house is going to look like. Um, so really, though, those are kind of my top six broken into two different sections of the getting the house ready and then the staging part. Um, but just remember, th these are crucial if you want to sell your home quick and even for top dollar. So um, hopefully some of these were, were helpful to you. Um, and, uh, you know, you can implement them either with your agent, with myself, or you can always reach out and we can talk through some more of them and make it more personalized to what you have going on. Um, and then, you know, then comes the tracking. How will we know if some of the staging stuff is starting to work? Well, you should be getting feedback from your agent. You should also be able to see what kind of foot traffic are you getting. Um, and when the foot traffic does come in, me personally, I like to contact the other agents. I like to see what their buyers are saying. We have to know, right, wrong, or indifferent, what their thoughts are because ultimately it's their thoughts that are going to influence whether the home sells and how fast and for what price. So it's really important to get that feedback, even if you're afraid to hear what they may have to say, we need to get it so that we can make corrections. And, and uh, really, once we start doing that, we can make any adjustments we have and get us to our ultimate goal is multiple offers. We're going to review those and we're going to start to give that credit back to where we all started with the staging and getting the house ready. So I hope this was helpful. So staging, number one, number one priority, getting that done. Um, if so, drop a comment, drop a like, let us know. Um, if you got any other topics that you want us to cover, we've probably got some other videos for them, but don't be afraid to list them below and we'll get you all taken care of. Till next time, thanks for watching.